pulse. If he loses this one, then he absolutely has to step down. So they're saying about these ones again, the same thing. If he loses these ones, then he really, 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 really has to step down. He's not running um, in those writings. Why should he? Like, this is stupid. This is just I stupid. I know. I know. I know. I know. Unless you live um, in his writing, you cannot vote for Prime Minister Trudeau. You can't vote for Justin Trudeau unless yes. you live in his writing, period. That's it. That's all. Yeah. So, um, but they're saying he really has to, you know, the, 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 let's, we've got the same thing going on in the United States as we, in Canada, as we had in the United States. The media is tired of covering the old story. This, we've already covered him in a couple of, you know, a couple of elections before. It's like, we want something new, we're bored. We want some fresh, something fresh. Uh, so, you know, the, the media in Canada, like it was in the United States, is trying to orchestrate some type of soft coup, trying to make it inevitable that he has to go somehow. Um, however, by him parachuting a candidate in, uh, if he does lose, that will add to the narrative. It's like, not only did he lose, but he lost, he lost with his chosen candidate. He really has to go now. Uh, the NDP believes that they have a crack at this. Uh, and uh, they've uh, picked uh, uh, a, a quality candidate who uh, should give uh, the liberals a run for their money. Uh, so, yes, uh, if in that uh, electoral district. Uh